Today, we're going to manually trace an image using Affinity Designer. We're going to create a new document, and we're going to use the A4 size paper because we're going to pretend to create a page for a coloring book. Next, we're going to import the image we're going to trace by going to File and clicking Place. For this tutorial, we're going to use an image of a frog from an old book I had. But if you're really making a coloring book that you plan to publish, it would be best to use images that wouldn't get you in trouble for copyright infringement. After placing the image, I resized and moved the frog to the center of the page. And then I'll decrease the opacity and lock the layer. I created a new layer, and this is where I'm going to draw our frog. I'll just zoom in on Mr. Frog so we can see him much better. To start, we're using the pen tool, and since we're just creating an outline of Mr. Frog we'll make sure there's no fill. And then we'll change the stroke color to black and the size to two points. Of course, if you want your stroke to be bigger you can choose the size that's best for your project. You can even make some of your lines thicker and some thinner. Okay, let's start. I actually like placing some notes first before adjusting the lines so you can see me here clicking on only some points on the outline. And this will give you straight lines, but later we'll fix it so that the lines will follow the curve of the image. When you've finished your line or shape, just double click the last note. Sometimes I forget to do this, so you'll probably see me fix it a couple of times on this video. Then choose the node tool and click and drag the middle of the lines to follow the curve. You can also use the handles to adjust your curves, but since this was a simple image, I didn't use that option that much. We'll continue tracing our image by choosing the pen tool again and create the next line. Let's close that pen tool by double-clicking the last node. And then we'll adjust the curves by using the node tool. And we'll repeat that process until we've finished the whole image. I'm going to fast forward this part so you don't get bored. The fingers can be a little tricky but with some practice, you'll also get it right.
With circles, I find that the best way to create them using the pen tool is to make three nodes on the circle and then adjust the curves. You can also just duplicate the circle you made, and then resize and reshape to create the other circles, but I didn't mind creating each individual circle for this tutorial. The same is true in creating the circles for the eyes. I kept forgetting to double-click the last node to close the pen tool, because I was distracted by someone talking to me while I was doing this part. So if it gets too irritating for you, you can just go ahead and jump a couple of seconds. You can add a black fill for the two inner circles. And the last part is the nose. And we're just going to duplicate the eyes. and then resize and reshape the circle to become the frog's nostrils. And then we'll duplicate that to complete our nose. Oh, I almost forgot the spot on the cheek. We'll just duplicate the circle and remove the fill. And we're done. Let's now see what it looks like by itself. Don't forget to save your work by exporting it to your preferred format. Thank you for watching our video. Till next time.